Hi everybody! Greetings from San Pancho, Mexico, where I have been living for the last two weeks. I've been in Mexico since September, uh, but we've just landed in uh, San Pancho, kind of close to Sayulita in Puerto Vallarta, uh, where we've been, um, my partner and I, Andrew, have been uh, reconnecting with uh, so many cool friends that we've made uh, from our home in Bali uh, and now we get to sort of travel together and sort of have a co-workation together which has been really lovely. Um, of course the scene in San Pancho is all about, um, it's kind of a sleepy town uh, but it's got like amazing waves for surfing and just like beaches that are not crowded by crazy tourists uh, and it's just like this amazing uh, little town I know the sun's sort of shining and you probably can't see too much from the sun, but uh, it's just the coolest little community of everyone just like really involved in the community. Uh, and it's less touristy than um, a lot of Mexican beach spots that I uh, have visited in the past. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to jump in here because uh, I know a lot of people have asked me where I am right now and sort of where the scenery's changed a little bit. And I thought uh, I would sort of show you where I've been and what my plans are for the rest of the year. Um, and whether or not I'll be back in Bali, I get that question a lot as well. Like, are you done with Bali now, now that you're in Mexico? And that's not true. <laughs> Bali is still my home base. Uh, I go back to Vancouver every summer, which is obviously something I love doing to see friends and family and keep in, keep uh, in contact with the people I love uh, while still be, being able to have the life that I have uh, and be able to explore different countries and different places as I'm just a huge uh, global traveler and I think I learn so much about myself uh, when I travel. Uh, but one of the biggest things that I've really been exploring uh, and experimenting as I've been uh, living in Mexico uh, is first of all is because of the sort of um, yeah, navigating sort of different, like being in different towns and different different cities um, every couple of months or every three months or so um, kind of forces me to really think about like how much I do like uh, some of the creature comforts <laughs> or familiarity and sort of what feels like home. Uh, but it's also really challenged me to really um, be present to the places that I'm visiting uh, and also, you know, take the time to really make new friends and um, cultivate a new community wherever I am. And I sometimes get very, like, I love just having a small group of friends. And I sort of sometimes never branch out to, because I think they're just the best people ever. <laughs> and so I just never branch out to go meet anyone new. And I know if you've done this a lot with where you live in, uh, and sometimes you have a good, cool group of people, but that can be sometimes like, it can sometimes prevent you from getting out there and kind of like making new contacts and, and networking with awesome people that can maybe give you a different um, different perspective and you know different things of friendships that maybe your current friends may not be able to give. So that's sort of been something I've really loved uh, experiencing uh, with travel and having sort of ever-changing environments and locations uh, for sort of like the second half of my year. But I also really like like balance and a routine. And so Bali kind of gives me that. Uh, I have to sort of create that a lot in the new places I land in. Uh, but that again, helps me to revisit some of my routines, some of the rituals, uh, what, and, and it kind of forces me to evaluate what's working uh, and how I, how I want to sort of be spending my days if I was to change the environment a little bit. Um, and so that's what's led me to sort of even thinking about 2020, like, how I might want to um, do things differently in the way that I operate in my business, uh, in what I work on, when I work, uh, and how I can allow sort of like spaciousness in my schedule uh, in order to do some of the things that I didn't get to do um, if I was working overly working too hard for things, right? And I tend to do that as a type A achiever. Uh, is I never kind of know sometimes um, when I've reached my limit because I just have a high tolerance <laughs> for pain <laughs> and for, you know, ever-changing things. But um, I also know that when I've taken the time to invest in other parts of my life, um, work is really important to me. I'm really passionate about the work I do, but there's other parts of my life that I want to invest in, that I want to spend time in, especially uh, being in a really cool relationship and, you know, other interests and hobbies that I have, um, I've really noticed that I have like seasons of work that I do my best work. So I don't know if that resonates with you guys, but for example, um, I find that I am super inspired and motivated to 
um, work on my business and really like get out there and do more sort of like less planning and strategy, but lot, a lot more like getting out there and talking and like, um, cre you know, being on, being on interviews or creating more content or uh, being on stages, like, or whatever those sort of more, um, here I am, like I'm present for my work kind of, um, uh, sort of sort of elements of my work. Um, I am best doing that between the months of January to about May. And then somehow in the summer, I because I probably go back to Vancouver at this time, um, I sort of like this to be the time where I sort of take a break and evaluate sort of what I've learned about my work and who I want to serve and things like that in the beginning of my year. Uh, and then start to really plan out some sort of new initiatives for the second half of the year, but needing to take that break to actually not take on as many clients uh, and or taking no clients at all during the summer so I can actually spend time with friends and family, um, sort of reset. Summer is like a reset kind of season for me. Uh, and then that allows me to be ready for the fall. And the fall uh, is always where I sort of uh, tend to do a lot more community building events, uh, a lot more sort of like really focused uh, programs uh, that lets me do really deep work. And so it's really interesting thinking about seasons and seasons of work for me uh, and sort of when I might actually be uh, taking on more clients and when are times that I rest, when are, time, when are times that I reset, and where are times that I allow myself to look at my business and my life from a more sort of bird's eye perspective rather than uh, uh, trying to do it in the sort of busyness of a schedule or, or, or a routine or a work routine. And so that's really resonated with me this year with sort of taking, looking at my work in seasons and seeing when my best energy is at in the year uh, and then sort of tying it to particular events that I care about, like being at home and being really present with my family and not taking on too much during that time. So I can really just focus on that theme for that season. Uh, and some of that is a lot of things beyond work. Uh, and then get back into it. So for example, November has been a, a time for me to think about next year. So this is what I've been doing, but I'm again, taking my foot off the pedal with um, work, 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 and a lot more around um, really focusing on uh, the foundations of my business, uh, really looking at my concepts again, my philosophy, sort of, um, you know, more of my own deep interest in my work rather than like marketing, marketing, marketing in, in the business that I have. So that's been really releasing from trying to do so many things when maybe there are certain seasons that are best for you to do certain types of activities. And that could maybe pertain to your life or your work or both. Um, so yeah, so that's sort of a little bit about what I've been immersing myself in, of course, enjoying the beautiful space of San, San Pancho till around mid December until I go back for Christmas to Vancouver to visit friends and family. And then I jet off to Bali to spend the next five months, uh, being in one place. Um, and so I'm also curious about like, if you start thinking about 2020, can't believe we're having to say that now, uh, the new decade really. Uh, what might be some of the changes like if if you also kind of have been looking at your life and seasons that certain things are meant, you know, certain seasons for your kids, certain seasons are for your loved ones or certain seasons are for business building uh, and some are for resting. Like, what does that look like for you in 2020? I would love for you to share um, and let me know if any of the things that I've said today resonated with you as well. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to jump in here to say hello and give you some updates and uh, can't wait to really see um, what you've been working on and what you've been dreaming about for next year um, and learn more about maybe how I can support you in those goals as well. So don't uh, forget to DM me. You can uh, message me and tell me a bit about your story if you don't want to do it underneath this video. Uh, and I would love to hear from you and maybe we can grab a chat together. Talk to you soon. Bye.